Hi, another pool update. Uh, it's raining today. Um, it's not good. Check it out. Um, and anyway, I'm being rained on, but uh, well, it's just water and <laughs> get the pool. So, you know, you've got to be good with that. Installing the uh, cover here. Show you that in a minute, but I'll show you the mud. That's the mud. That's the mud. <laughs> it caked into my, the bottom of my shoe. They weigh like an extra kilo each or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's not good. But anyway, yeah, I'm installing this. It's a um, under, like a in-ground um, uh, pool cover. So this is a hinged lid. This actually lifts up. Well, it's, it's got, see the giant hinges down there? I just uh, hammer drilled out a um, pilot hole down the bottom there. So I'm going to screw, install one screw down the bottom. These are just temporary uh, support bars, which you uh, screw in just so that you can get it uh, level. Uh, right across so I had to do that uh, so I've already installed two hinges down here so I've already put one bolt down in there and one bolt down in there and then I've got some uh, brick chocks here they're just uh, glued and also um, anchor screwed in uh, as well but they're just to stop uh, the uh, when you fold it back so the whole idea is you lift lift this whole oh yeah yeah there you go lift the whole thing out like that Normally that hinge ain't supposed to come off, but it'll be screwed down in a second. And uh, yeah, so you lift this thing up and it'll have a um, winch, uh, like a hand winch uh, pull cover in, hidden inside here. So on top of this, once I'm done, I'm going to install some 4.5 uh, mil uh, fibre cement board on top of here. And then on top of that, we put the uh, 20 mil tile. So we'll get the tiler back in to uh, uh, then he levels the tiles level. So once this is installed, the tiles get leveled with the uh, various thickness of whatever uh, cement is needed to make them level. So that's the whole idea. And then it'll have a uh, catch in the middle here and you just lift up the catch. The whole thing swings up and uh, that's the plan. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> so it um, hasn't rained that much. It's only a little bit of water in the bottom. Um, did get a couple of new tools today. They're not the duck's guts, but just uh, tweeted a photo of these. Uh, Bosch uh, Professionals. I've got the uh, GSB. Uh, is it GSB? 18V there. Um, dash uh, 21. That's a uh, hammer drill. So um, it's cordless hammer drill. I, I've got a big, uh, you know, heavy duty uh, corded hammer drill, but it doesn't really fit in there because it's too long. It like, you physically can't, like it's you know, as long, as wide as the uh, channel over there. So yeah, um, I needed a um, smaller one, smaller hammer drill, cordless to get in there. And I also got a, it's part of the combo set, and I got it for an absolute song. I got it at an absolute bargain price. Um, and this is the GDR18V. This is an impact uh, driver, and I haven't had an impact driver before. And um, I, I know these. I know. Everyone, leave it in the comments down below. Yeah, I know. AVE. Yeah, all right. Um, and these are, you probably think these are shit. But um, I've had a Bosch uh, profession, professional uh, um, cordless drill for, like, I don't know, 15 years now, and it's going great. And it uses the same battery, so the batteries are uh, compatible. So, yeah, I, I built this entire deck <laughs> and other stuff with um, that Bosch uh, professional cordless drill. So I've had no problems with them. I know they're not, uh, many people would not consider them a uh, Ducks Guts uh, brand. Uh, they're made in Malaysia, the German, of course, uh, but made in M Malaysia, and they are bottom of the range. Um, but they're bottom of the range professional, if you know what I mean. Um, and uh, anyway, I've, I've been hammer drilling concrete, um, no problems whatsoever. And I've been impact drilling uh, anchor screws into concrete, no problems whatsoever. So anyway, they're a winner. Got them for an absolute bargain. So there you go. Um, what else? Uh, they put a second rubber coat in of waterproofing on the back of these walls. Geez, these walls are built like a brick dunny. Fair dinkum. Might install a toilet down there. Um, <laughs> It's like, well, we've got the plumbing. There you go. Um, yeah, this rubber coating. So there were two coats of sealant and then this rubber coating on top of that. So no moisture is getting um, through that at all. That's so that when you render on the back side of the brick over there, then moisture doesn't uh, come through, seep through, and then uh, peel and bubble off the... Uh, uh, the uh, render on the other side of the brick. So that's 
that's the idea um and yeah we do have the uh conduit the cables are laid but there's some more uh, required over there and um oh i can show you the maddie mac heat pump oh god i can't go through there hang on gotta walk around here because i unboxed it this morning pool guy was here well oh god it feels like i got <laughs> look, look at the amount of mud on my shoes this is i'm glad these are my old um they were falling apart anyway so let's have a look i've got my here it is it's a maddie mac mv esv 3 right. let's have a look so this is the heat pump hot water um system so we can use our excess solar to uh heat the uh Pool. Apparently, it's one of the most efficient um, on the market. Some wanky sticker there. <laughs> most efficient, <laughs> least efficient. Um, and it is a uh, 10 amp. Um, it, it's not a hardwired one, so it's not top of the range one. It's like one of the one of the bottom of the range ones. But their software on their website is actually really amazing. Um, they gave us like a customized report, like you put in your pool size and everything, and your you know where you are and all that sort of stuff. Your uh, climate the rest of it and it gives you a full-on like pdf or a multi-page pdf report of which models are best and, and then it's all tabulated and everything across all the different models and this was the one deemed most suitable um for our uh for our size pool and you know do you how many months a year do you do you want to use it 12 months a year or do you want to use it nine months a year etc so you know this was like the best compromise but um they, yeah, apparently they are uh they are ducks guts they're not cheap Maddie Mac, but um, anyway, that's the uh, heat pump hot water system. So that, that'll, that'll just plug in. Um, oh, hang on, bloody box. This garage, we will eventually clean it all out. And uh, we've got, yeah, there you go. It's not even a 15 amp jobby, it's a 10 amp jobby. Uh, it, it's all about the peak current and stuff like that. Cause the actual power consumption is not, it's not huge, but yeah so there you go um and that goes all in i don't know uh, yeah you can install here it is uh yeah you install some isolation uh, valves here so if you ever want to like maintain the heat pump you ever want to re replace it repair it do whatever you can actually put uh, turn on the vibe turn off these turn on the bypass valve and then well you just have a cold pool but at least all your pool your heat pump and your filtration and everything um still works so that's how, that's the uh, simple schematic for it, but that's it. That's the pool update. It's all happening. The fencer is coming on Monday. It's Saturday now. Fence is coming on Monday. And we will have a uh, glass fence along the top of the deck. It's going to be glass along here. And then uh, black anodized alloy down the sides. And we saved like half cost on the uh, fencing because of that, because of the step down over there we actually required like a special height custom cut glass panel if we wanted it down there and it's like nah no thanks so we're going to have a combo uh glass and uh, aluminium uh, none of that aluminum rubbish um aluminium uh fence so yeah that'll be done on monday and i have found somebody who will do on camera my switchboard upgrade so they're coming mid next week i think um so yeah we have to earth so once the fence is up, technically once the fence is up and we earth it and we get an electrician to certify the earth in of the pool fence because they're super paranoid about that. Yeah, whatever. Um, and so once we've done that, then uh, technically we can get, well, we can get the bead and once we, once the bead creates in there, um, which is, I think, I don't know, could happen late next week. I'm not sure. But uh, as soon as that's done, we can fill it. So we can fill it the next day after the bead creates set, I believe. So, anyway, so the landscaping won't be done, <laughs> but we'll fill it before the landscaping. I'm not waiting for the bloody landscaping to be done before, uh, you know, because it doesn't really impact it. We can go in there and play. Anyway, that's the pool update. Catch you next time.